your passion is crappie fishing, you've found your home. Sponsored by these great companies. Folks, I got two words for you. Live scope and big fish. That's what's going to happen in this episode. A lot of live scope, big fish, and we put a ton of them in this boat today. Let me tell you, that's why it's a little bit longer than typical. Do me a favor and subscribe. We're about to have a lot of fun on one of my favorite lakes. Woo, that's a good start to the morning. I'll tell you what, a lot of magnolias, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, black nose crappie. This is a good size eater right here, probably around 11 inch. But hey, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. We got a lot of active fish. We are definitely in that fall transition time right now and uh, we're putting a hurt into them. So good fish, stick with me, please subscribe. We're vertical jigging on piles, minnows with jigs as well. Uh, just trying a bunch of different things and they're definitely separating from the piles which is a really awesome thing to see thanks for joining folks so folks this day got off to a great start and it was actually before that intro even i just had to play it very very quiet because there were too many boats around i didn't want to get too excited about what was about what was happening at that moment so you'll see a couple of fish caught during this episode where i really don't say much of anything and it's only because i don't want to kind of share the experience that i was actually having early in the morning because boats were just a little too close to where i was fishing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some active captain on I'm gonna show you these fish there's just a ton of them we call that a plum tree here now um, just looks like a plum tree nothing but stacked crappie big time crappie that is my that, that my folks friends is a uh, is a <laughs> huge plum tree that's unbelievable how many fish are right there um, now check this minnow out this minnow is dinky. This is no bigger than that number four hook that I've got on there. Well, the small minnow theory did not work there, so let's go with a bigger minnow. Something slightly bigger. Let's see what we got going here. There it is. So these crappie are just moving around in those schools and they always seem to find their way back to, this is a smaller guy, but still a good eater. Um, they find their way back to those spots. I don't have an answer for that, but I, I've noticed that time and time again, when we're fishing and they'll leave, and then all of a sudden you'll see the huge school, which we just saw an active captain, come right back to that spot. It's almost like if you stay there, they'll be back. Um, especially if they leave as a school, especially if they leave as a school. I don't have any sci scientific proof of why that happens or, or if it happens every time, but I'll tell you, out here it seems to occur a lot and I, I watch that on live scope constantly it's amazing back to the same spot that's a big fish that is a big fish i marked that on live scope holy mackerel that's a big fish bam that's a big fish right there folks Bam. They're down there. <laughs> Man, what is that way? What is that lengthwise? That is, that's a 16 inch fish. A 16 inch fish. That 
is a huge plum tree right there. That's a beautiful sight. That's that same school of fish. There it is. I mean, it's hard. It would be hard not to catch a fish in that many, <laughs> in a school that big. I mean, but you'd be amazed. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Now, they look like they're just all a bunch of good eaters, but um, a good little eater. Um, but we did catch that one big fish, so I want to get more of those big fish. I mean, the big fish are there. You can see the marks. Um, you can see they've lost, they've left again. They're just laying on the on the ground behind it. fish here a lot of fish here that's a good fish that's a good solid fish there they are they're coming from behind there they are great fish man we're getting on them today it doesn't look like a big fish probably on a GoPro but it's a good size eater I am best fish of the day right here. And that's a big fish. Wow. <laughs> Am I going to lose it? Probably. Nope. All right. That is a freaking hog. How about that, guys? That is really fun. That is a ton of fun. That is a big, thick fish. Good night. Well, there you go, folks. The power of live scope can put you on some monster fish. And today, is one of those days. So, hey, do me a favor and subscribe, and let's put some more fish in this boat. All right, folks, welcome to the front of the boat. Here we go. I know you guys can't see this big plum tree here, but it is a monster. We just caught that one good fish off of it. And, um, you know, I'm just, you can't see it even if I point it to you, but we've got a huge group of fish right here. And, um, I bet you I could swing that in there. Let's see here. Right there. That should come right into them. I like to try to stay off of them when I see such a good pile like this, the best that I can, which means I can swing it in at about 10 feet with a 10 footer. Um, try not to disturb them. It looks like that went all the way through them with nothing. Wow, we got some fast fish in there. They should really be hitting this. But sometimes they don't. So that's the, you know, everybody talks about live scope and how you're going to deplete the population. Sometimes they just do not eat, folks. We've got some super aggressive fish around me right now. And again, they didn't take it. So, yeah, 
somebody had it. There it is. Soft little bite on that one. A little black crappie. We're gonna do the ceremonial toss here. You get to do that in my boat when you come on guide trips. We put you to the test. We check out your basketball skills. Some have failed and some have succeeded at that. It's not uncommon to see a fish go out the back. We of course only do that when we're catching a ton of fish. So we don't risk losing them if we don't have to, but you will get the opportunity to, to shoot for the live well. I'll tell you the secret to it. The secret is go long, go long. Everybody wants to place it safe and go short so they don't lose the fish. Go long. Hey, don't forget folks, guided trips this fall. Um, filling up, but I still got space. And I'm telling you, we can put you on slabs constantly. Get in the boat, experience live scope. It's fun. We can talk about your electronics. You have a question about side imaging, any of those type of things. I'm your guy. I can definitely help you out there. Uh, and experiencing live scope, of course. So book now, 618-694-5162 or 3poundfishing at gmail.com for more information. Yeah, I felt that. Now that was a, that was, you know, one of those just felt heavier, 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 heavier. I don't know. We might clean fish today. Why not? I don't care. That's a little guy. We're going to let him go though. All day long, get in the boat. It's no joke. We will catch fish, folks. I tell everybody, I said, you might just cost yourself $3,000 coming to my boat. And 95% of the people that have been in my boat have walked away and texted me later and said, yeah, I just bought it. And I don't blame you. It's good technology. A lot of great YouTube videos out there. I'm not saying mine are the best, but I got some videos on you on LiveScope. And then you get hung up. <laughs> All right, we got a ton of fish here, folks. A lot of fish. Another great fish right there. That's a solid fish. Nice black. We do the flip. And that's the miss. The flip with the miss. i do that again. Take two. Today could be an easy limit had we been on a guide trip. No doubt. I think that's the crappie pile right there. I do think that's it. They did not like that. Boy, you drop right in the center of that and they all dissipated. They were gone. Gone, gone, gone. They weren't having any of that. Let's see if we can find them again. There they are. I'll try it again. I am playing with a huge minnow right now. <laughs> They're gone. They did not mess around. There it is. I think he's got it. Yep, he's got it. Great day. I appreciate it. That's a good fish. Blue plum tree in front of us. We're going to catch a couple more fish today. Then we're going to call it quits. And get on with the, the regular day's activities. But it's been fun. A lot of big fish. It's been great. So we're going to be doing a lot of tournaments in 2020. A lot more than we did last year. Um, or this year, I should say, 2019. We're starting it off late October with the ACT qualifier Grenada. We think it's a great lake. I can't wait to fish Enid and, and Sardis, but... Emotionally, I like Grenada for some reason. Maybe just because I grew up knowing that Grenada was a big crappie hole, you know, destination. These are 
some pigs right here. That's every bit of a 13 inch fish. Man, I saw him bite it on live scope too. You weren't going anywhere, were you? Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Big slabs again. Hey folks, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the Ozark rods. Let me tell you, these things are incredible and I just want, I really do appreciate my new sponsor for 2020 and uh, yeah, check them out at OzarkRod.com. Man, LiveScope is just awesome. What a great day on the water. Thanks for watching.